Today, we're talking about something that affects all of us, the impact of natural resource extraction and use. From the fuel in our cars to the wood in our furniture, everything we use comes from the earth. But what happens when we take these resources? Let's explore the short and long-term effects on both people and the environment. Ready? Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about deforestation. When we cut down forests for timber, farming, or to make way for cities, we're doing more than just clearing land. In the short term, deforestation provides resources like wood and space for agriculture. But in the long term, it can lead to major problems. Without trees, the soil becomes more prone to erosion and animals lose their habitats. This can cause a ripple effect, leading to the loss of biodiversity. Think fewer animals, plants, and insects, which can disrupt entire ecosystems. Plus, trees absorb carbon dioxide, so fewer trees means more CO2 in the atmosphere, which contributes to climate change. Speaking of climate change, let's talk about climate change itself. When we burn fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas for energy, we release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. In the short term, this gives us the energy we need to power our homes, cars, and industries. But in the long term, it's causing the planet to warm up. This leads to more extreme weather events, rising sea levels, and shifts in climate patterns that affect everything from agriculture to wildlife. The effects of climate change are global and long-lasting, impacting not just the environment, but also human health, food security, and economies. Next, there's desertification. This happens when land that was once fertile and productive turns into desert, often because of overgrazing, deforestation, or poor farming practices. In the short term, overusing the land might lead to more crops or livestock. But in the long term, the land can become barren and unable to support life. This is a big problem in places like the Sahel region in Africa, where once productive land is turning into desert, making it harder for people to grow food and forcing them to migrate. Another big issue is smog and acid rain. Smog is a type of air pollution that happens when industrial emissions and car exhaust react with sunlight. It creates a thick, hazy layer that can make it hard to breathe, especially for people with asthma. In the short term, smog can cause respiratory problems and other health issues. In the long term, it contributes to the formation of acid rain. Acid rain occurs when pollutants in the air mix with rainwater, making it acidic. This can damage buildings, harm forests, and pollute water sources, affecting both the environment and human health. Let's not forget about soil contamination. This can happen when chemicals from mining, agriculture, or industrial processes seep into the ground. In the short term, this might boost crop yields or allow for more efficient resource extraction. But in the long term, Contaminated soil can become toxic, making it unsafe for growing food and potentially leading to health problems for people and animals. Once soil is contaminated, it's really hard to clean up and it can take years or even decades to recover. Another significant impact is habitat destruction. When we extract resources like minerals, oil, or timber, we often destroy the natural habitats of animals and plants. In the short term, this provides us with valuable resources. But in the long term, it leads to the loss of biodiversity as species lose their homes and food sources. Habitat destruction can also disrupt ecosystems, making them less resilient to changes and more vulnerable to invasive species. Finally, let's talk about flooding. When we clear forests or drain wetlands for agriculture or development, we remove natural barriers that absorb rainwater and prevent floods. In the short term, this might create more space for farming or building. But in the long term, it can increase the risk of flooding, especially during heavy rains or storms. Floods can destroy homes, infrastructure, and crops, 
causing huge economic losses and even loss of life. So what's the big picture? Extracting and using natural resources provides us with the materials and energy we need, but it also comes with significant costs. The short-term benefits can be tempting, but the long-term effects like deforestation, climate change, desertification, pollution, and habitat destruction can be devastating. It's crucial to find a balance between using these resources and protecting our planet for future generations. That's it for today's geography lesson. Next time you see a forest, a river, or even a clear blue sky, think about the impacts of resource extraction and how we can work together to keep our planet healthy.